Welcome to Medicam YouTube. If you're new here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that bell icon for the latest updates. For comprehensive insights and additional resources, check out the description below. Let's dive into today's topic, cranial myosis or maggots in the human head. Disclaimer. The content on this channel is for educational purposes only and not medical advice. Always consult a healthcare professional for medical concerns. We are not responsible for any actions taken based on this content. Cranial myosis is more common in tropical and subtropical regions, especially in individuals with poor hygiene, underlying health issues or compromised immune systems. Firstly, fly infestation. Flies, particularly from the genera Cochleomia, Dermatobia and Sarcophaga, lay eggs on open wounds, sores or in natural body orifices. The eggs hatch into larvae, which then burrow into the skin or underlying tissues. Lack of proper hygiene, especially in hot and humid climates, increases the risk of fly exposure and subsequent infestation. People with underlying health conditions, untreated wounds, poor immune function or chronic conditions that impair wound healing are more susceptible. Living conditions also matter. Those in environments with poor sanitation or in close proximity to livestock are at higher risk. The symptoms are quite alarming. Intense pain and discomfort occur as the larvae burrow into tissues, causing sharp or throbbing pain. The affected area may become swollen, inflamed and tender to the touch. You might notice a foul-smelling discharge seeping from the wound or orifice, often accompanied by the movement of larvae. Itching or a crawling sensation is common as the larvae move. Secondary infections can develop, leading to fever, increased pain and pus formation. If maggots infest the ear, they can cause hearing loss or tinnitus, including buzzing or ringing sounds. In severe cases, neurological symptoms like headaches, seizures or altered mental status may occur. The first step in mechanical removal is cleaning the wound thoroughly with antiseptic solutions to reduce the risk of secondary infections. Next, substances like petroleum jelly, Paraffin oil or saline solution are applied to suffocate the maggots, forcing them to the surface for easier removal. Manual extraction is then performed using fine forceps or tweezers. This should be done by a medical professional to ensure all maggots are removed and to minimize tissue damage. The wound is irrigated with sterile saline solution to flush out any remaining larvae or debris. In some cases, surgical debridement may be necessary to remove necrotic tissue and fully cleanse the area. After removal, antibiotics are often prescribed to prevent or treat any secondary bacterial infections. Regular wound dressing changes and monitoring for signs of infection are crucial in the healing process. If left untreated, cranial myiasis can lead to severe complications including deep tissue damage, systemic infection and in extreme cases, death. Prompt medical attention is essential for anyone suspected of having this condition. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Medicam YouTube for more medical insights. Stay safe.